Hello everyone and welcome back to chapter 5, focusing on word stress in nouns, verbs, and numbers. Now we've looked at how word stress fluctuates with numbers, how it's the first syllable for 30, 40, 50, and the second syllable for the teen words, right? teen numbers, 13, 14, 15. Uh, we talked about how there's a pattern with nouns and verbs, how more often than not in nouns, uh, it's the first syllable that's stressed, and with verbs, it's the second syllable that's stressed. So we talked about those patterns and here now we're talking about the stress patterns in abbreviations. Now what's an abbreviation? An abbreviation is a series of letters, usually two or more letters, and each letter in an abbreviation symbolizes or, or signifies the first letter an entire word. So for example, USA is an abbreviation, right? Our country, USA, is an abbreviation for United States of America. U for United, S for States, and A for America, USA. Um, well, here you have some other examples on page 46. CD is an abbreviation for compact disc. MA is a degree, it's a master of arts. EU stands for the European Union. And CNN, uh, which is a t television cable news channel, stands for Cable News Network. These are all examples of abbreviations. Now, when we pronounce abbreviations, as you can see here in Rule 5.6, we say each letter of an abbreviation clearly and separately. So each letter is stressed. Uh, and then technically, it's the last letter that has the strongest stress. C, D, M, A, E, U, C, N, N, U, S, A. So, although I would say each letter is stressed for sure, uh, technically the last letter is the one that gets the strongest stress, right? Where the whatever the sound is, consonant sound or vowel sound, it increases in intonation uh, ever, so, ever so slightly. So if you take a look at these examples here, part C, I wanted to go over these with you because you don't have the uh, answers and you may be interested to know what these abbreviations mean. So number 11, BRB, Maybe you see that in the text exchange, you've seen it, and you weren't quite sure what it meant. BRB stands for, it's an abbreviation for Be Right Back, right, or return, indicating that someone's going to return. BRB, Be Right Back. Uh, number 12, what does the abbreviation L-O-L mean, you've probably seen this before. L-O-L stands for laugh out loud. That means that something's really funny, right? L-O-L, laugh out loud. Number 13, FYI, is an abbreviation for your information. So when you want to share information with someone, we say FYI. 
FYI, for your information, FYI. And the last abbreviation there, number 14, ASAP. ASAP stands for as soon as possible, it means very quickly. Call home ASAP, as soon as possible. So abbreviations are very common. Uh, formally, we see them a lot uh, in the news, in literature, um, but informally, I think, is probably where you see them the most. And page 47, or excuse me, page 48 gives you some great examples of informal abbreviations. You know, through texting especially, we use these a lot uh, as a quick means of communicating in English.